Hi, it's Kelly here. And in this video, I want to tell you how it is that right now, in the last few days, that I have been the happiest I've ever been in my life, emotionally and mentally. And also that I've improved physically to a certain degree. Um, it didn't start out that way. Uh, you know, when I was a year old, some of you are familiar with this if, you, if you've read my book. Uh, is there a question that heals instantly that I had my back was broken by my nanny when I was a year old she broke my collarbone and my uh, L5 part of, of my L5 and I couldn't complain about it because I was only a year old I could you know when they saw me crying they figured that was my collarbone doing that didn't, so it didn't get discovered until I was 59. But that's neither here nor there. Um, the result of that severe beating that I took uh, affected me in, in a number of different ways. One is that I wouldn't, I had mistrust of anybody my entire life up until a few years ago. Also, I was angry underneath the surface all the time and I even had feelings of rage. Thank goodness I didn't commit any crimes, but I did have rage going on, which is not very pleasant, uh, you know. And so this affected my life in a lot of ways, including my ability to be successful in my life as far as, you know, making a good living, that sort of thing. In, a, in addition to my bad posture, which is a result of the broken back because, because my spine had slid forward and, and caused the pelvis to be above, uh, the top part of the pelvis being above the lowest part of my lumbar. So when people saw me, I looked like sad sack. And they still, I still look a little bit like sad sack. Um, so anyway, I did find two ways that assisted me that I want to share with you right now. And, and it, also, it helped me to become the inventor that I am now, in addition to being feeling happy and, uh, you know, just joyful. And w one of them was something called, it's the name of the, of the method is changed couple of times, but I think right now it's called Skills to Change, skills to change com. They have a seven-day program you can sign up for free, um, and I did that. I just want you to know that when you do that, it depends how much you're willing to commit to the effort. You can only do one day at a time for, I think, seven days, and it helps you to get free uh, of, the, of, of your traumas. And it is cathartic that you'll be bawling, like at least if you're like me, you'll be bawling and all that sort of thing. When I did that, it was as if a cloud, I mean, honestly, it was like I could almost see it. A black cloud was lifted up off of my head and gone. And it was on the second day when I awoke in the morning and instantly came up with this invention that most of you are familiar with. This is one version of the Whirling Bliss machine and is basically a fidget spinner with these uh, negative ion discs on it and then by spinning it, it, increase, it massively increases the amount of uh, negative ion discs. Um, and I went through different versions including if some of you have seen the the one with the white ceramic, it was round and it had a brass ring around it with etchings in it, that's kind of like triangles or, or pyramid shape on it. And uh, that the, the, the white ceramic was something I had custom made, very expensive, um, and, the di and the actual, um, actual uh, uh, fidget spinner was, was round like a wagon wheel. Also, is not available. The, the company stopped making them, so it would cost m probably hundreds of thousands of dollars to get them to do that again. Uh, 
and then you have to get the, the, the ceramic to go on it. Um, so, now, the, the, the disadvantage of that disc was that if you, you keep dropping it, it's, it's going to stop, maybe stop working. And so, and that can happen, and particularly, you know, they're so powerful for autistic children, but they may not have the coordination to not drop it. So, I then came up with, whoops, oh, I just, it just slid off into my lap, thank goodness, I caught it. Came up with another version of the Whirling Bliss machine, and this is the O2, uh, O2 Cool. I bought this at Walmart. It, it's in the uh, in the fan section. It's up in the uh, up the top shelf. Couple, you know, one or two spacings on it. And, and I forget what it cost me. I don't remember. Eleven dollars, ten dollars, something like that. It doesn't have this fancy thing on here, and you don't need that fancy thing on it. What you do is you have one of these discs, which is the larger size the disc that was on the fidget spinner. And you glue it on there in the center using super glue. And you just turn this on and you wear it around your neck like this. And it's blowing the air past here, past the disc, which enables the negative ions to come to you. And you can do this for like 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes at a time. Um, and so you're constantly getting it and there's no danger of dropping it. This fancy thing I got that came off of uh, the Applicum website. You don't need it, but it, it does add it, give it a little more oomph if you want to do that. Um, so let me turn this off. Uh, but now let's get back to the invention stuff. I've just given you an example of my inventiveness and how this flowed when the cloud left, right? Well, the easier way to do it as opposed to going to skills to change.com is using my book, Is There a Question That Heals Instantly? Because this enables you to heal all the traumas in your life without ever having to revisit them. And, it, and it's a question you ask yourself twice, and it takes you know just a few seconds to do that, and it instantly brings healing in two different ways, which is explained in the book. Um, so you can go either way. You, you might want to do both if you're willing to commit yourself to going through trauma. Uh, skills to Change is, is a fantastic uh, program to do. Um, if you want to just do it, it, relieve the traumas in your life without ever having to revisit them, you can do it this way very, very quickly. Anybody can do it. Um, and. Uh, and, uh, and with skills to change, you know, we, you know, depending how old you are, you've had more traumas in your life that are stuck in, in your psyche, and you would need to go through each one to relieve that, right? So how many times do you want to go through the traumas? But still, you might get rid of the biggest one by take, you know, by doing the exercises that he has. Um, Otherwise, uh, you go this route. Is there a question that heals instantly? It's available on Amazon.com. And what it does is it, you know, and I'll give you the simple example in my life, which is I drop things a lot because I don't have very coordinated fingers. And it upsets me because to pick them up with the metal rod in my back in particular, uh, I can't bend over. The metal rod won't bend. So I have to go find the grabber and, you know, get the right kind of grabber, pick it up, you know, and all of that. Well, it used to be prior to asking myself this question, I would only think of one way to pick it up, whatever it was on the floor. But now I might, I might come up with six different ways of picking it up. And it's training my mind to ask questions. And that's, what, that's how inventions come about, is by you asking a question about something. And then, bingo, the answer comes to you sometimes instantly, sometimes 30 minutes later. It could be six months later. You know, whatever it is that you want it to come forward, uh, the more you use the question, and, and, and you use the question when you have any kind of uh, challenge. You know, the, 
the so-called minor thing of dropping something on the floor. You know, if you if you're cussing because of it, that's the time to ask the question. You know, it could be a relationship. It could be you know with your family. It could be you know at work, whatever. You know, you can silently ask yourself the question twice, and and you'll find that you come up with answers. And it keeps unfolding and unfolding and unfolding to where I've used other techniques which are mentioned in other videos that uh, are very, very freeing and I'll just basically share those with you. And that is to go in, is to recall a moment in your life which was the most joyous. And I often use the one where my son was born, when I first held him. It just, and a lot of you mothers and fathers may be familiar with that feeling. I've also taken some workshops where that has occurred, where it was just unbelievable. I had an experience where my realization was that heaven was, I, I had a realization of what heaven was, and then I saw that it was more than a hundred times what I had imagined that is best. And it occurred to me at the same time that heaven is, that, is more than a million times beyond that second level, <laughs> you know. So, and, and don't say it's a hundred million because it's, it's more than a million. It could be a bazillion, you know, times a hundred. So, uh, by, so, but the, the way you can do this if you're not taking the workshop is, is to just recall in your heart and place your hand on your heart uh, and recall that beautiful moment in your life. And then you can forget the circumstances. It's not important to recall the circumstance. It's important the feeling. And with that feeling, you, you, uh, you, f you may go in any order with this, but you might feel grateful for having the feeling. You might praise God for having the feeling. You could be grateful to God. I rec highly recommend that's who you choose to be grateful to. And you just want to love. You just want to love Him to death, right? For it. So when you so you get that feeling there, and, and so now you you can create that feeling. Um, so that right now, as I'm talking to you, uh, if I'm not being distracted by the words coming out of my mouth, uh, I can move into that feeling right now. You see, because every moment can bring forward that feeling as being the spectacular moment of me holding my son. So, but beyond that, because that, that was, that's w the feeling I had w as best I was equipped to handle it then. But as you practice this, you find that um, it makes it easier. And I think, you know, I don't think this, I know it's true. If you use this question, it makes it so much easier to get to that neutral place and then to that joyous place. I was sharing this technique with a lady at physical therapy, and she's the kind of lady, I, I had noticed this before, where she could find everything to complain about in every sentence of it that comes out of her mouth. All right? So, of course, when I shared it with her, her response was, well, she sat like this, even though she was interested, she, had, you know, she wanted to know. Uh, when she found out what it was, she went like this, and then she said that she had six or eight hours of labor, and so she wasn't, you know, that didn't thrill her too much at all. So I let her know that that was just my example, and she could pick whatever she wanted, and she decided it was when she was in the third row watching Bruce Springsteen's perform. And so she could use that as her feeling inside of her. And that, that feeling that she remembered was like the greatest feeling in her life. She apparently had, probably had a very difficult life, so I don't want to judge her. I'm not going to judge her. You know, she may have been abused her entire life and had all the reasons in the world to feel like every, nothing ever goes right. You know, if, you, if something happens repeatedly, you start to pick up that attitude, nothing ever turns out good. Everything turns rotten. So, uh, and, you know, it's, it's like that. 
and, and I'm just going to share something that came into my mind. I, I hope you can bear with me on this because I thought of it earlier today and I tend to forget all the awakenings that I have. You know, we talk about frequencies, right? And, and I talk about repeating frequencies as being harsh on us. You know, it's like a repeating phone ringing that you can't stop. It drives you nuts. Very irritating. Well, you know, you've probably heard the word caca or ca cacophonious. Well, cacophonious means something that's very harsh to hear. Uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, fingers on a blackboard or something like that. Cacophonious. Caca. Because, and there it is. It's a repeating sound. And we even think of the word caca as meaning something else. You know that we can think of, and it, and I'm just going to say it. You know, please forgive me, but it can mean poo poo. And what is poo poo? It's another repeating sound, right? So we even have it in in our language, in our hearing, that these repeating sounds are not great for us, right? Um, so. And there was another example I came up with that, that was slightly different. You would think it was a repeating sound, but it wasn't. Um, then I'm not recalling it right now. Uh, so anyway, uh, you know, uh, what's the other word? Do do, right? Do do. Well, if we went do 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 do, would drive us nuts. See, it's it's we use sounds to describe things sometimes that are exactly telling us. The, uh, the effects of, of repeating sounds. So that's something just to be aware of. You know, when you look at words, you read things, you see a word that you don't like, see if that, maybe that's part of it, maybe not. Um, but it's just an example that I wanted to share with you. So, um, so we, wanna, we wanna have harmonious thoughts. We wanna have harmonious sounds. So beautiful music, you can go to YouTube and listen to the, you go HZ music, put in whatever, whatever concern you have, whether it's arthritis or, or whatever, you know, stress, put those in, you can listen to those. Um, and so all these different things. So anyway, I, I, I think I've, oh my goodness, I've gone on for almost 18 minutes. So I think that's more than enough for right now. Thanks for listening. I hope that uh, you'll find that getting the book is really helpful for you because it makes everything else I was sharing with you easier. And it can make it so dynamic that you can feel really, really happy and joy-filled. I mean, I do. It's like parts of the day, boom, boom, boom. It just keeps coming in. And, it, it, and uh, it's exciting. And I hope that your life is like that too. So you take care and God bless.